Hello everybody, I am Box McLeod and welcome to my tutorial on how to install Jagged Alliance 2 Urban Chaos 113. For those of you that don't know, um, this is a series that I've been doing a let's play of and I've had a few people ask me um, how to install the mod for themselves in order to play it. And I've made a tutorial of this in the past but I feel like it wasn't quite uh, as complete and detailed as I'd like, so I'm going to be making a, uh, a slightly different, more in-depth tutorial this time that should be a little more up-to-date and more complete so that even new users uh, should have no problem getting it up and running. So um, I'm running Windows XP right now in a virtual environment. Uh, this is VMware, and um, I'm just using a fresh install here so that we have a clean slate to work with. Um, before we get to any modification of the game files, you're going to need a utility like WinRAR or 7-Zip uh, in order to extract the archives. So I will post a link to WinZip, which I'm using in this tutorial, and just make sure you have something. Any utility that works with archives should do, as long as you can extract them. Um, also, you're going to need Microsoft's .NET Framework. Um, in this case, I'm using an older version, version 2.0, Service Pack 2. I'm sure later versions of the framework will work, and uh, most of you probably already have it installed for some other application, so you shouldn't need to worry there. Um, for those of you that don't have it, I'm posting a link to the version I used in this tutorial, um, but I would probably recommend going with a later version, um, as it should work. So once you have those two things installed, there's three files that you're going to need in addition to an, a legitimate copy of Jagged Alliance 2. And I will be posting links to those as well. And it's these three files right here. Uh, we have the actual Urban Chaos data folder, uh, which we're going to need. Uh, the 113 uh, mod for Jagged Alliance 2, as well as the Urban Chaos 113 mod. To keep things as simple as possible, uh, Urban Chaos and 113 are both single-click installers, so it'll be just a matter of extracting into a folder. keeps things very simple. Um, the version of 113 I'm using is an unstable uh, build. If you would like to use a more stable build, just Google Jagged Alliance 2 113. Their main site will come up, and they will have the... Uh, they will have the stable release version available for you to use. So just grab that if you would prefer to use that. But um, regardless, I have a link to each of these files uh, posted in the description, and feel free to use those. It'll just make things easier. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to install Jagged Alliance 2. In this case, I'm using um, Jagged Alliance 2 Gold comes with unfinished business, but we just need the base game. Um, any version of a game will work. Uh, we don't need to, to update it. Um, so if you have an old version, uh, that's fine. Just get a copy of the game somewhere. And we're going to install it. So it's, you know, agree to our license here. We're not going to install it into this default directory, though. Um, for this case, I'm, I've already made this folder here, Jagged Alliance 2, just in the root directory of my hard drive. Um, you can make the folder whatever you would like, as long as it's not in the program files directory. And, okay. Well, we're going to have to type it in manually, I guess. Easy enough. So, we'll just do that. It already exists, but that's fine. We want to install it there anyways. So, uh, start menu if you'd like it, and we'll just let it install. So I'm going to pause for a moment, and when it comes back, we'll be installed. Alright, uh, we have it installed now, so we just want to exit out of that. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're going to take the necessary files from the original Urban Chaos game, um, and put them into the folder. Uh, this, was, this was the step that actually 
tripped me up a little bit when I was running this and may have tripped up other users as well. We don't need every file from Urban Chaos, we just need the data folder. So in order to run um, what we need, we're going to make a folder, just temporary, we'll name it UC for Urban Chaos here, and we're going to extract the files from our Urban Chaos file here, and we're going to install them into this folder, because we need to take uh, one particular folder. So we're going to open the uh, archive here. It's a self-extracting archive. You don't need um, you don't need any special utility for this. It, it installs it, the file itself as an executable and we want to point it to the folder that we just made and we're going to let that extract and that'll be just a moment. Alright, it's just about finished here. And once it's finished extracting, it'll close, and we're left with the Urban Chaos data in this file. Now the only thing we're interested in is this folder labeled data. And what we're going to do is we're going to rename this data-uc with no spaces. We don't need these other files, so just ignore them for now. We're going to close that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install um, Jagged Alliance 2113. So to do that, we open up this file here. And since I'm using WinZip, we'll just wait for it to pop up. And whatever utility you're using here, these are all the files you need, and the folders are already laid out and everything, so all we simply need to do um, with whatever utility you're using is extracted to the folder in which we installed Jagged Alliance 2. So in this case for me, I'm going to click on Extract and then we're going to go into the f directory here, in this case Jagged Alliance 2 and we're going to Extract and it's going to dump all the files in the correct folders and everything. So we'll begin extracting and it'll be just a moment. Please note, if you're asked to overwrite anything while this is install, uh, extracting, hit yes to all. This will also apply to when you're running the uh, extraction for Urban Chaos 113. Just overwrite if it prompts you to do so. So we're just about finished extracting here. And uh, once it's finished, it'll pop up with, uh, with the uh, Jagged Alliance 2 directory here. In my case, it may not if you're using a different uh, utility, but that's all right. Um, as long as you have this data and data 1, 1, and 3 folder, that's what we're looking for. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that directory that we renamed here in the Urban Chaos folder, this one, and we're going to take it and we're going to place it in the root of this directory for Jagged Alliance 2. And it dumped it at the bottom there, but there it is. So we want to make sure that we have data, data UC, and data 113. Um, your directory, your install directory will look probably similar to this. It may not be exactly the same depending on what version of uh, Jagged Alliance 2 you installed in the first place, but regardless of that, you should be fine. So the last step is we need to install Jagged Alliance 2 113 Urban Chaos itself, the actual mod. So we're going to open the last file here, and it's very similar to the, last, the uh, previous step. We just want to open the archive, we want to hit extract, and we're just going to extract it to the same directory as we did in the previous step. Again, if you are prompted to overwrite any files, do so while it's extracting. So we're going to let that extract, and I'll be right back. It's almost done here. So once that finishes extracting, we are pretty much installed and good to go. 
Now, the part that was giving me trouble for the longest time was that I was trying to launch the game through the INI &I editor, which is the recommended way to launch the game. Um, if it gives you an error, um, you need to install the .NET framework or use a different version or update it or something along those lines. But yes, you should have the INI editor application in your install directory. And um, that's what I recommend launching the mod from because you can select um, whatever version of the game you'd like to launch. Um, so this is the screen that it will bring up. And you have all kinds of options here. I'm not gonna get into actually um, modding these files that these are your personal preferences um, there's just a, a number of settings here that you can modify but to launch Jagged Alliance 2 Urban Chaos 113 uh, you're going to want to go to this drop down where it says select your mod and it's already highlighted for UC 113 which is what you'd like but there's also um, other ones here in this case we have unfinished business um, vanilla Jagged Alliance 2, 113, and 113 with old maps. I'm not entirely sure what the old maps are, but as long as you have this, and you select your uh, your resolutions here, um, you just hit start, and it should um, it should run. So let's give it a shot here. Hopefully, it will in a virtual environment. Okay, so as you can see in the corner, it said what version 113, and we do have Urban Chaos here. The menu's a little screwy, but that's all right. And um, if you did everything correctly, you should be good to go then. Um, now, I can't vouch for the stability of these mods. I have not played the latest versions of these. Um, your mileage may vary, as always, um, and it will certainly be different from... Um, my let's play if you're looking to recreate that experience uh, they're constantly updating all of these mods and things are always being changed and added around but this should hopefully um, give you an idea of how to install and get the game running for yourself um, if you don't want to use the INI &I editor I do believe you can just use the JA2 executable and it should automatically launch uh, Urban Chaos 113 I can't guarantee that though, and I do highly recommend that you just use the INI &I editor and select what you'd like to run from here. Um, please be advised, if you're not using a fresh install of Jagged Alliance 2, uh, you may very well overwrite, delete, or otherwise lose data from previous games. So again, I highly recommend that you use a fresh install of Jagged Alliance 2. So there we have it. Uh, I do believe that's all you need to know to get up and running with Jagged Alliance 2, uh, Urban Chaos 113. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I can try to answer them, but I also recommend you check out uh, Bear's Pit. It is pretty much the ultimate resource for all things Jagged Alliance, and I'm sure that they would be happy to help you guys out with whatever you need. So, thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope it helps you guys out, and uh, happy hunting.